What's going on guys, it's Exo here and today we're going to be checking out some glitches on Redwood that are still working on all systems. My gift card giveaway is still going on as well, all you have to do is like or comment on this video. I'll be selecting that on Friday. This video is going to have a wall breach, a bunch of ledges, as well as three ways outside the map in two areas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the last multiplayer map in the regular playlist that I've yet to do a video on. Thanks again for all the support and let's get right to it. This first spot we're going to be checking out is actually a really high barrier on top of some trees in the back of the map here. You just want to jump on this rock and then jump over outside the map onto this tree with a couple boosts. Wall run around it and then boost over to where these trees are. If you do it correctly, you should land on an invisible barrier. Now sometimes you do have to go and crouch. It makes it a lot easier if you crouch when you are at the top of these trees. I'm going to show you in third person where exactly this is at. If you wall run around that tree and just boost off it when you get all your boost back, you should go right towards this area. You really just have to get high enough up here. Now these next two spots are actually outside the map in the same area. They're done with different ways though. This first one is pretty unorthodox. You want to jump over on this tree as high as you can, get your boost back, and then jump off the tree, around the rock, over the truck, onto this road here. Now sometimes you do want to have reject because as you saw it does take a lot of life away. I was able to make it without it. If you use your last boost correctly you should be able to make it no problem. It really just takes practice with getting this one. I'm going to show you guys a full view in third person here just showing how I got it. It really just takes three boosts one around the rock, one over the truck, and then one to land right on the road. Now this spot is the same area outside the map except you do it using gravity spikes. You want to use one boost around this rock, turn, use your next two boosts, and then use gravity spikes when you're right near it. If you do it correctly, you should land just as I did. Now it's in the same area, obviously. I'm not sure which one is easier. Let me know what you guys think in the comments is easier out of these two. I think you might even be able to do it with overdrive. So let me know. All right, now we have another outside the map spot. I'm pretty sure this one was found by Define Glitching ages ago. You need Rejack for this. Come over here, wall run around this tree, jump to the next one, get your boost back, and then boost over to where I do. Now it should kill you before you actually land where I did. And then once you land, you need to Rejack. Once you Rejack, you should still be alive right in this area. You can't jump up at all. There is a death barrier there seems like the death barrier is right above you and not below you. You really just need to make sure you land in this spot. The video should give you a great idea of where it's at. Now this glitch here reminds me of the first one on top of some tree barriers except this is under the map. You just want to jump where I do. Now if you land here correctly sometimes you'll stick. Other times you do have to hold your left analog stick forward and sometimes if you drop down even further you have to jump right back up. This is still a pretty cool spot, not much use to it, although it is a great hiding spot. No one's ever going to find you down there. And that leads us to our last glitch, which is the final backwards mantle I'm going to be showing you guys on the regular playlist. This glitch actually gets you into a little bit of a secret room. You need a backwards mantle over this window ledge. If you do it correctly, you should be stuck still to the wall. Now here you can actually use the jump pause XX version of clipping through the wall. But I'm actually going to be using someone to melee. So I just melee someone and then I'll go to the opposite side of the wall. Once you're on the opposite side of the wall though, there's a way to get fully inside of the room. You just need to move down to where this dead body is and then jump up a few times. If you do that correctly, you should get nudged over to the right and then you're fully inside of the room. You can shoot fully throughout this one. Unfortunately, it does do some tearing on PS4, but it still works on all systems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is gonna complete the regular playlist on Black Ops 3 for me. So I really hope you guys enjoy and I hope to see you guys on my next one.